All right, here are the batteries in this electric motorcycle. They're wired in series. Uh, series means they got the positive to negative all the way through. Uh, starting right here at the controller, the controller goes over and is connected to the contactor. The contactor comes back up here, connects to the fuse. The fuse connects down here to the uh, first battery in the series right here. This battery is then connected down to this battery, this first battery. This battery is connected over to the far battery right there. Then the negative here comes back up here to the top and connects on to this battery back here in the back. This one connects up here to the controller completing the circuit. Now when they're wired in series like this, four of them, they'll output uh, 48 volts. Let's see if I can get this to stay. Here, I'll, I'll put this voltmeter from Harbor Freight on the first and the last uh, battery connections. You can see it's doing 49.7. These batteries are pretty well charged. Uh, but that's because it's going from the, the first in the series over here to the last. Now since, that, since the positive is connected on that battery, if I connect this negative here to the same battery, you'll see it's only outputting 12 volts. 12 volts off of one battery. So if you had 12 volt electronics, you could hook it up to one battery uh, directly and you would only pull 12 volts. Now if you uh, connect two batteries, you'll of course you'll get uh, 24 volts, such as this right here. There we go. 24 volts. 24 volts. That's the two of them in the series. And if I were to go over to the other side, which I'll see if I can, we'll get. I should pull back 36 volts. I gotta set this down. The wire's not long enough. Okay, I'm touching on here and there. Pulling back 37 volts, and back up here to the to the last one in the series. Back up to. Oops, back up to 49 volts or 48 volts and 48 volts because there's four 12 volt batteries but they're charged so they output a little more than 12 volts so if you did have your batteries wired in series they can still uh, you can still get 12 volts by pulling off one battery but doing that it drains one battery more than the other one so when you charge them it'll take a little longer to charge that one and it'll put a charge and discharge uh, ratio higher on that one than the other ones. So if you do that, Frotus on the Elmoto.net said you should move it around between your batteries so that it uh, doesn't drain. You put equal drain on all of them. But it's kind of cool.